everybody, it's Cat9453 here, and I apologize first for the very bad quality of this video. I can't find my normal camera, and uh, I don't know where it is, so there's that. <laughs> but more on actually the importance of this video, my dad is back from the hospital. He's been back from the hospital since Sunday morning, so... Yeah, he's out of the hospital, and um, he and actually the rest of my family, including myself, would like to thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys have shown in such a quick, short time of frame. I mean, seriously, like, I can't believe, like, thank you guys, like, really, I, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, like, it's very emotional when, you know, your dad, especially a dad that's as old as mine, which is 63, <laughs> has something happened to him, to his heart, and you have to just go to the hospital, just up and go, and you, you know, you just kind of get all the stress and everything, and I, you, you guys get the point. Anyway, but I, I do want to talk about what my dad had. Um, when my dad and I went to the doctors, he actually found out that he, the, his doctor told him that he had SVT. Now, that's not, like, a chronic thing, like, or, like, it's not like a chronic thing like cancer or something like that or things of that nature. It's nothing that serious. It's not an allergy reaction. It's just something that comes and goes naturally, apparently, in human beings. And apparently it comes even more naturally for people that are of my age or younger, which is kind of scary because I'm only 19. And they said the age range that it frequently happens to or anyone from the age of, well, younger than... 22-ish. So that's kind of scary for me. I'm, I'm not a doctor, but that's what they said. So that kind of scares me because A, it means that I can possibly have it at any point. B, if you guys are 22 or younger, it means that you can have it possibly happened at, have it happened at any point. And three, or C, if I don't know which one I used, that means my dad's heart is a, is a very young heart, like equivalent to like a 30 year old or 40 year old or 20 year old which kind of scares me because he's like 63 years old so either i'm getting older or my dad is getting younger and if he is i think he's cracked the code to like some form of like alien thing i don't know i'm going on a tangent here anyway but like i said i would like to talk about svt um otherwise known as super ventricular tachycardia i can't say it and it's it, 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 like I said, it comes and goes. It It's frequent. It's younger and younger people. And I would like to describe it, but it's kind of hard to describe it with the usual setting that I'm in, considering the fact that, A, you can't see my face. B, I can't draw on the screen. So we're just going to move on into the, um, you know, next screen where it actually has a picture of the heart. So... Ooh. So everyone, this is a heart, or at least a diagram of a heart, and I'm going to explain to you what SVT is as it was explained to my family. So as you know, electrons run through your whole body and your heart is a muscle. In order for you to move muscles, you need electrons to make it move. So electrons go through this thing called an SA node, and it goes to not only one side of the heart, but also goes to the other side as well to an AV node, which goes, I believe, to the outs outer other chambers of your heart. I'm not sure. You might want to ask a doctor about that. But that's basically what your heart should normally look like when it's functioning correctly. However, with SVT, the electrons go through and stay on one side of the heart because it can't connect to either to the other side nor the AV node. So it just basically makes its own feedback loop. And then your heart starts beating like two times or three times as fast as it normally should be. So that's what's basically what was happening to my dad. All the symptoms such as dizziness and etc. was what my dad was having. And it's scary because not only can it happen at any moment of any age, but it also, because you know your heart is pumping blood, it means that your heart is trying to bump, pump blood two or three times as fast. Hence the dizziness that my dad was having. That's why he felt weak and couldn't breathe almost because his heart was trying to... His, his whole body was trying to cope with his heart that was beating two or three times fast. So that's just basically what SVT is. That's why my dad is currently okay. Because they, you know, stopped his heart twice so they could restart it. Kind of like rebeating a computer. And my dad is currently now taking medicine called beta blockers that are supposed to slow down his heart rate. So that he doesn't have this happen to him again. 
So anyway. So yeah, that's what SVT is. Um, that's basically what my dad has. So I guess I just want to recover. My dad came back from the hospital on Sunday morning. My whole family just wants to thank you, you the viewer, for all the love and support that you guys have shown. And I just want to inform to you what SVT is so that not only that yeah, you guys learn, because I'm a, becoming a teacher and stuff, but also so you guys just know what it is in case someone around you, you know, start having similar symptoms. And just in case that a doctor tells you, you don't freak out because it's actually quite common. So yeah, so that's kind of my short lesson on SVT. I'm not a doctor. I, and if I was a doctor, I'm not going to be a doctor in the medical field. So I'm letting you know that now. And I guess that's it. So I'll see you guys resuming the normal schedule of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with me playing a game. I'll see you guys later.